Compound nouns are very common in English. They often have a meaning that is different from the two or three separate words that form them. Before we find out what compound nouns are, let us review what a noun is first. A noun is a word for a person, animal, place, thing or an idea. An example of a person is mother, animal, zebra, place, London, thing, pencil, idea, piece. Countable nouns have a plural form. For example, an apple, many apples. These countable nouns can always be made plural by adding s or some other variation of the plural ending. You may want to find out the spelling rules for the plural form of countable nouns. They can be found in this channel under the title singular and plural nouns. Some nouns are uncountable. An example of an abstract noun is love. Subject. History. Material. Wood. Liquid. Water. Gas. Oxygen. Tiny things that occur in great amount. Sand. What is a compound noun? A compound noun is a noun that is made up of two or more words. For example, washing plus machine is washing machine. Tooth plus brush is toothbrush. Clean plus cut is clean cut. The separate words, which are joined or used together, take on a new meaning. For example, house plus fly is house fly. There are three forms of compound nouns. In the closed form, the words are joined together as one word and act as a single noun. For example, football, toothbrush, sunglasses. Some compound nouns are written separately as two words. For example, swimming pool, bus stop, full moon. In the hyphenated form, two or more words are joined together by one or more hyphens. For example, mother-in-law, dry cleaning, self-esteem. There are no definite rules on which form to use. For example, there are differences between American English and British English. In addition, different writers may choose to use different forms for the same compound noun. Take for example, the compound noun, containership. It can be one word, two separate words or a hyphenated word. You may want to check the dictionary if you are not sure. A compound noun can be formed with two nouns. Here are some examples of the noun plus noun structure. Tooth plus brush is toothbrush. Mouse plus pad is mouse pad. Air plus ticket is air ticket. Day plus dream is daydream. Rain plus bow is rainbow. Snow plus man is snowman. The noun plus noun structure is commonly used for expressions which specify certain kinds of thing. The first noun, foot, modifies or describes the second noun, ball. In other words, it has the same function as a classifying adjective which places people and things into categories or classes. Together, the two words take on a new meaning. In this illustration, the football is a round ball used in a soccer game in the United Kingdom. It involves a lot of kicking the ball with the foot to try to score goals. A compound noun can also be formed by combining a gerund with a noun. But first of all, let's find out what a gerund is. A gerund is a verb that acts as a noun. It is formed by adding ing to the verb. Let's look at some examples. Walking Sleeping Writing Studying, playing, jogging. Let's look at some examples of the gerund plus noun structure. Writing plus desk is writing desk. Walking plus stick is walking stick. Working plus day is working day. Learning plus material is learning material. Waiting plus list is waiting list. 
Spelling plus book is spelling book. Many compound nouns are made up of an adjective and a noun. The first word is an adjective that describes or modifies a second word, which is a noun. In other words, the first word provides us with clues about the second word. Let's look at some examples of the adjective plus noun structure. Loud plus speaker is loudspeaker. Sweet plus art is sweetheart. Hot plus dog is hot dog. Fast plus food is fast food. Noble plus man is nobleman. Black plus board is blackboard. Here are examples of other ways of forming compound nouns. 1. Noun plus verb. Haircut, sunrise. 2. Noun plus preposition, passerby, voiceover. 3. Verb plus noun. Breakfast, scarecrow. 4. Verb plus preposition. Check out, lock up. 5. Preposition plus verb. Output, outbreak. 6. Preposition plus noun. Downhill, underground. Let's look at the compound noun, scarecrow. Scare is a verb. To scare means to frighten. In this illustration, the spider scares the lady. A crow is a black bird with glossy feather, a heavy beak and a harsh and loud voice. Together, these two words take on a new meaning. A scarecrow is a straw model of a person, dressed up in old clothes. It is set up in a farmland, to scare crows and other birds away, so that they will not feed on the growing crops. How do you determine when compound nouns should be hyphenated? The general rule is to hyphenate for clarity. A hyphen can be useful to avoid confusion. Take for example. Is it walking stick with a hyphen, or walking stick as two separate words? Both are acceptable, but walking stick, with a hyphen, makes it clear that the stick is used for walking. In this example, the walking stick is used to assist an individual, who is unsure or unsteady, due to old age, or other factors, that contribute to the weakness of the legs. As two separate words, with walking as an adjective, and stick as the noun, it is ambiguous and can be misread. So, do you actually mean that the stick is doing the walking? Let's look at another example. Dirty laundry basket. This means that the basket is dirty and is used for laundry. Dirty laundry basket. This means that the basket is used to contain the dirty laundry. So, a hyphen is sometimes essential to avoid ambiguity or confusion. Greenhouse, or greenhouse. Both words have different meanings. We know that a compound noun is a noun made up of two or more words. The first word of a compound noun is usually stressed. For example, greenhouse acts as one single noun, is stressed on the first word, green. As one word, it is a glass house for growing plants. On the other hand, when we use an adjective, green, and a noun, house as two separate words, the noun is stressed. Green is an adjective to describe the noun, house. House is stressed because house is the main word. As two words, it is a house that is painted green. Countable compound nouns. Generally, to form the plural forms of compound nouns, we add s or yes to the main word. For example, son-in-law, sons-in-law, toothbrush, toothbrushes, passerby, passers-by, teaspoonsful, teaspoonfuls, lieutenant colonel, lieutenant colonels, runner-up, runners-up, bystander, bystanders. Compound nouns that are only used in the singular form. For example, pocket money, junk food, birth control, greenhouse effect, death penalty, food poisoning, compound nouns that are only used in the plural form. For example, fabric scissors, human rights, traffic lights, sunglasses, 
denim jeans. Breaking news. Possessive compound nouns. Compound nouns can be made possessive by adding an apostrophe s at the end of the word. For example, daughter-in-law's birthday, sons-in-law's gifts. We have looked at how a gerund can be combined with a noun to form a compound noun. The gerund is formed by adding ing to the verb, so you may be interested in finding out the spelling rules for verbs that has ing endings. They can be found in the video entitled, The Present Continuous Tense, in this channel. The spelling rules for countable nouns can be found in the video entitled, Nouns, Singular and Plural, in this channel.